haga silencio bienvenido Espíritu Santo reciba la paz de Dios naciones reciban la paz de Dios este silencio te lo damos a ti Señor llénanos de tu paz out of the word of God here today in the book of Psalms. You know, a lot of people want to come in on a sad note, amen, on a sad note. And I'm talking about the life that, um, you know, people are living at this time. Um, they're looking at so much of their circumstances. They're looking at so much of their situation that's at hand they're seeing all these things and and I'm coming in and saying let's go in with a repentive heart let's use this time instead of being remorseful and soaking in on the sin because that's what the enemy wants you to do is to soak on your sin. But now is the time that we can come before the Lord and repent. Repent of our evil ways. You know, 
uh, repent, repent, because the kingdom of God is at hand. Heaven is not at hand. Now is the time to repent. But at the same time that we repent, we're also going to praise. And we're going to not only forgive ourselves, okay, for the bad things, the sins that we've committed in our lives, but also too, we have to forgive. And we have to not only forgive ourselves, we have to forgive God. Because we can also blame God for the things that are happening. And we see so many issues of different people that are going around with a badge, with a hurt life. Well, someone did this to me. Someone did that to me. And I'm hurt about it. I'm hurt about it. Well, when are we going to give that hurt to God? When are we going to release that to God? At a continual base, our heart must always be repentive, forgiving, and giving back unto God. If we continually to stay in our sin, we can't move forward, church. If we continually to look at all the things that are happening, well, this happened to her, this, you know, and this happened to me, or this happened here or there, or whatever. We're not going to rejoice. We're not going to be happy. We're not going to be found. And especially in the things of Christ. We're going to find ourselves in a pothole, a mill hole, or simply just going around the same mountain again and again and again. When we've prayed and God has response, it may not have been the way that you wanted God to respond. And so we continually to ask the Lord again and again and again and again for the same thing that God has already spoken about. Has God already spoken about that once? Has God repetitively let you know, I'm here, I'm here for you. Even though you're going through this pain, even though you're going through this hard situation, I'm here. And I'm here for your mistakes. And I'm here for your mishaps. And I'm here for your sin. I'm here for your failures. God is still God in our failures. But when is it as a people of God that we rise up? To see in ourselves what God is speaking. See in Psalms there in 97 verse number 10. Let those who love the Lord. Let them hate evil. For he guards the lives of his faithful ones. And he delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Is God delivering you from the hands of the wicked the light shines on the righteous and joy on the upright in heart the joy how many of us need the joy today how many of us need to be upright in our heart with righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost Oh, I want to take on the problems of somebody else. Are you sure? Oh, I want to be responsible for that somebody else. You know, you're not even responsible for yourself. You're not even responsible for the things that you have to do. 
But yet, you want to be responsible unto others. We got to go with the word of God where he says that, you know what? That we have to carry the burdens of one another. But it's not to where now I'm boggled down or now I can't breathe because the matter is heavy upon my heart. No, we as even leaders and, and those in leadership, we have to in turn give all those things to God as well. We can't hold on to the grudges of somebody else's life. We can't even make it personal in our own lives. We ourselves have to go before God with a repentful heart for the things that we've done personally against God or the will of God. See, like the word is saying, the light shines on the righteous and joy on the upright in heart. What is what's going on in our hearts? Do we have situations that are in our hearts that we've allowed it to be so heavy that now we can't even hear what God is speaking? See, the Lord says, Rejoice in the Lord, you who are righteous, and praise His holy name. You know why, church? Because we serve a holy God. And we come before the Lord with worship and praise and lifting up the name of our God. Let us pray here today, humbly, as we have come before our Lord. Father God, we ask you, Jesus, that you will wash us and cleanse us with your precious blood, Father. Separate us into the things of God. Lord, deal with our hearts, deal with our minds, deal with the situations that are ever so present in our lives. Father, help me to shake off all the dead stuff. And allow me to stand on the ground that you have established for my life. I will not be shaken by the things that are happening in this world. But yet, I will be bold. And I will be strong. And as the word says, I will take the land that God has promised unto me. Being bold. And being strong, standing still and recognize that He is our God. He is our Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for our lives today. Church, God bless you. I know this is on a, a small note here. And as the Lord leads, we will continually to move forward in the things of God. Even in your life here today, allow us to march forward. Keep on going forward. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.